good morning class welcome to saint peter school this is your science class and in previous class uh, we have completed the top we are at the chapter number third so all the students are requested to take out your books take out page uh, take out chapter number three that is diversity in living things and uh, we have uh, already completed the, the topic of diversity in plants now today we are going to start with the new topic that is diversity in animals which is found in animals so diversity and classification in animals here are the some points very important points written here different animals have developed different shapes to survive in the environment there is a great variety variety in the body structure of animals since animals depend on others for their food they are found in places where food is available different animals have different methods of obtaining and eating food this leads to difference in their body structure so uh, due to their um, uh, due to uh, due to their food habit and, and like they they used to adapt different types of adaptation for example forest animal is found in forest while domestic animals which which is used to um, which which are not dangerous or, uh, or like we who don't eat flesh they used to live in the, uh, around us that is called domestic animal or the pet animal okay since animals depend on other on their food they are uh, they are found in places where food is available different uh, animals have different methods of obtaining eating food as i told you the forest animal uh, why they used to live in a forest because they they used to eat small animals yes so that's why nobody wants to keep those type of animals around us uh, yes it is very dangerous for us so uh, on the basis of their food habit they live in a different types of environment animals are unicellular or the multicellular animals form two groups animals have uh, uh, animals with a vertebral column is known as vertebrae example snakes bird fish and kangaroos are also humans are vertebrate animals because they all have vertebral <laughs> vertebral column so that's why these types of animals are known as vertebrates and the animals which don't have that is non vertebrate vertebrates okay animals without vertebral column are also called invertebrates non invertebrates is also called a invertebrates okay example snails cockroach earthworms do not have vertebral column therefore they are invertebrate column according to the uh, mode of reproduction animals are classified into two types <coughs> ovi oviparous animal which lay eggs and viviparous animal which give birth to their young ones like mammals mammals always used to give the birth to young ones so that type of animals is known as viviparous while oviparous is the animals which lay eggs according to their habitat animals are usually classified into terrestrial aquatic and amphibious animal okay Terrestrial animals are animals that live predominantly or entirely on the land. That types of animals, the, the animals which uh, used to uh, survive on the land, that type of animal is called terrestrial animal. Aquatic animals are those animals, as we all know, that the plants or the animals which is found in water, that is called aquatic animals or the aquatic plants. Example: fish, lobster, octopus, and many more examples which is found in water. The animals which is found in water. is known as aquatic animals amphibians which rely on combination of aquatic and terrestrial habitats example frog salamander toad live in both places namely land and water land and water dono jagah paye jate hain us tarah ke animals ko kya bolte hain amphibian animals okay a kite and a eagle a crow a butterfly a honey bee all fly in the air they don't either they don't live in the on the land they don't live on in the uh, water neither they used to stay where they used to stay you, they usually used to fly and that type of animals is called aerial mode of life aerial isliye bola jata hai kyunki aerial kuch bhi hota hai matlab in air okay so those type of animals is found in uh, air so that's why that, that type of animal is known as aerial animal okay so uh, that's all for today in next class what uh, we are going to do uh, i think the chapter is already completed now to in next class we will start with the question and answer of chapter number 3 that is diversity in living thing so till the time what you are going to do you just revi uh, start revising all the points give uh, read uh, your chapter thoroughly go through all the points which is already given in the video so so that it will be easy to more understand the better the question answer when we will discuss the question answer so so till the time take care
Bye-bye.